Hey guys, this is Sean from Shanzer.com and in this video we are going to perform a detailed benchmarking test on Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus smartphone. It comes with Exynos 8895 octa-core processor, Mali G71 GPU, 4GB of RAM, 64GB internal storage, 6.2 inch QHD screen and uh, it runs on Android 7.0 OS. So let's have a look on our benchmarking test and let's see that how much all these hardware specs are going to contribute. So the benchmarking applications we got today here, they are Geekbench 4 Quadrant Standard, Basemark X, Basemark OS 2 and Antutu Benchmarking. And we have already performed all of these tests to save your time. So let's just start it. So let's just start with the and to do benchmarking first of all and here is the score for our device that's 170,662 and you can have a look on individual test score for 3D graphics, UX, CPU and RAM as well and this is a pretty good score because if you go back and go to the ranking tab here you can have a look on the entry benchmarking score of rest of the smartphones. So you can see that OnePlus 5 is at the first position and our device is at fifth position with 170,662. At the fourth position there is an another Galaxy S8 Plus and the difference between its score and our device score is not much just 1000 but we can say that Samsung Galaxy S8 is uh, coming in top 5 even our device is in top 5 on entry benchmarking so this is a pretty good score so performance should be great here as well let's go back from here let's have a look on another benchmarking that's Geekbench 4 so this test is divided in two parts and let's have a look on the test score so for single core it is 1991 and for multi core it's 6674 and if you go to these individual tabs you can compare the result of galaxy s8 plus with rest of the smartphones so you can see for single core our device is at top second position is occupied by samsung galaxy s7 uh, running on exynos 8890 and if you go to the multi core here you can see that our device once again is at first position with 6674 and second position is occupied by Galaxy Note 7 running on Axonus 8890 powered by it. So you can see the difference is huge here between Samsung Galaxy S7 and S8 Plus. So you can see that in both of these tests the performance of S8 Plus is really nice and here is the uh, score for compute test that's 7875 and this is really a great score because if you go to this comparison tab you can see that most of the devices they are pretty low in terms of compute test score and uh, Galaxy S8 Plus is scoring nearly twice of them so this is a pretty good score because you can see that even Samsung Galaxy S7 scored 2700 66 only and Galaxy S8 Plus is scoring 7875 so the difference is huge nearly three times so it's really good let's go back and let's have a look on base mark OS 2 here we go with the results so overall a score is 2860 and it is a great score but it's not one of the best because we have seen that iPhone 7 has scored more than uh, 3000, 3200 in that range. So still it's a great score and you can have a look on individual test scores as well for system, memory, graphics and web browsing. You can see for all uh, first three system, memory and graphics the performance of S8 Plus is really nice. And for web browsing it's great as well but not so good and because of that uh, overall the score is reduced a bit and uh, it's settled at 2860. Now let's go back from here let's have a look on Basemark X. 
It's a gaming benchmarking test. And the score is 43,889. Once again, it's a pretty good score, but it's not one of the best because uh, uh, most of the devices in flagship range, you will find this score they're getting. Even the last year's flagship devices running on Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 or Exynos 8890, they scored around 40,000, 43,000. So uh, the difference is not so much between last year's flagship devices and this year's flagship device SA Plus, but still it's a pretty good score and the gaming performance of the device will be great here as well. And we will do a detailed gaming review to see how good SA Plus is going to perform in real life scenario, not only in uh, benchmarking tests and scores. And you can also watch our previous benchmarking test of other smartphones and you can compare the result, the test score with SA Plus to get the better idea that how good SA Plus is going to perform with respect to those smartphones. So let's go back from here, let's have a look on our last test for today and that's Quadrant Standard. And here we are having the score that's 46,295 and this one is a really uh, very good score because most of these smartphones they are getting around 40 and 45,000 but Asset Plus is achieving 46,295 so this is a pretty good score and you can get the idea that overall performance of Galaxy Asset Plus will be great here as well. So that's all for now friends, thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands on videos like this. And I'll see you guys next time in an, another video, have a nice day.